evening, everyone. Um, I would just like to take a few minutes and tell you a little bit about the history of the Winter Olympics. Specifically, its origins and how it changed throughout the years. Um, the Winter Olympics, you can first remember, was a little bit of a mind jockle thing this year because of what was happening with the podium. Uh, after each game that played, the athletes, instead of getting their medals, as everybody expected them to get, they got little white tigers with black stripes and a tiny hat that had flowers on top of it. Now, people that uh, are organizers of the Olympic events actually gave us an explanation for this. But I will go into this uh, later because first, I would like to explore how the Winter Olympic Games first got started. It got started back, actually, back in the 1900s. Um, it got started from the area of Scandinavia, when there were uh, Nordic Games that were being held every four years consecutively from 1901 to 1926. Um, according to the author of the Nordic Games and the origins of the Winter Olympic Games, Ron Edgeworth um, said that the leading figure in the administration of the Nordic Games was General Richter Gustav Black of Sweden. And he was the main person that mostly ran the games until they were included or renamed as the Winter Olympic Games. Um, move, moving from that, we can see how the Winter Olympics changed from the time they were uh, first instated in 1924 till this year's game. The Winter Olympics originally started out as five games with bobsled, curling, ice hockey, Nordic skiing, and skating. Later on, other games were added. Some of these were the alpine skiing, the short track ski grading, the freestyle, and most of all the figure skating, and the skeleton and the snowboarding. Throughout the years, history and the events that happened also played a role in how the Olympic Games played out. Um, when the World War II broke out, the Games of 1944 were canceled, mostly because of the host countries and what they did, specifically with Germany invading Poland and with the Japanese invading China. Moving on from this to the 21st century, the attacks of 9-11 also increased the amount of security that was needed to host the event to make sure that it wasn't a terrorist attack on uh, its host city, Salt Lake, in the United States. Moving from there to now, Kane Chain Winter Olympics Games of 2018 it was also different. Russia was banned from the games because of the doping that was discovered in its athletes, and the government was doing nothing about it. Now we've come to the point where I said at the beginning everybody was confused with the little white tigers that were being handed out. Now, according to Olympic.org, the little white tiger was a mascot. It was supposed to represent South Korea. And before that time, it was tradition that the athletes would receive flowers as they are giving their medals. But this time, the flowers were replaced by the white tigers. And then, in the evening ceremony, they were given their medals. To draw this to a close, I would like to summarized that we first went through the origins of the games. It's 
started by um, by Scandinavia with the Nordic Games and by a man named Gustav Victor Gustav Black of Sweden. Next, um, it it changed throughout the years by events like World War II and the attacks of 9/11. And finally, we come to the modern game of 2018, where it also changed because of what Russia did. All in all, I will say that the Winter Olympics Games hasn't really changed from the time it first started, and that it continues to do what it was meant to be, to bring the harmony and to bring people together. Thank you. Woo! Eight more. Woo